Well, I mean, we saw what the uh, Association for Professionals in Sudan said, which has been quite um, critical in leading the protests on the ground in the past periods, the past few months. And they said that um, what is happening right now with the ouster of al-Bashir seems superficial, uh, especially since Bashir coming to power was because the military took over Sudan, and that was how his... Um, how his reign started. And so there's a lot of skepticism about what's going to happen in the next period, which is why international pressure and accountability right now is critical uh, in shaping what happens in the, in the ne next coming few years. Because clearly the protesters want more than a kind of cosmetic change in the leadership of the country. They want real tangible change. You know, how likely is that that might happen? Well, I think it's more likely uh, if we have an, an adequate response from the international community, if we see al-Bashir handed over to the ICC uh, for prosecution, because there's already a warrant for his arrest, and now that he's no longer the head of state, um, it is more possible for that to happen. Uh, but also, of course, the, if the pressure continues on the streets inside Sudan, this could go two ways. It could go in the sense of... Um, pressure from the inside, from the protesters, as well as pressure from the international community. And that could bring us to a interim civilian government, which is what is necessary for things to get better. On the other hand, with the, with the lack of international uh, adequate response, what we might see is a complete crackdown in, a, in an attempt to stop the protest movement from happening. And that is going to be extremely problematic uh, and could turn extremely violent as well. Miriam Al-Khawaja, thank you ever so much for your time. The French Parliament